Hey everyone, this is Artie the Vintage Stitcher. I am coming to you from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, I'm sorry if there, my lighting is really weird today. Um, it's not quite sunny out, it's not quite cloudy out. I have overhead lights on. I have my ring light on, but I feel like I'm casting a shadow here. So I am really, really sorry if I look super bright or super shadowy, kind of ghoulish. Ooh. Um, and that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm feeling kind of ghoulish. <laughs> So it is a Sunday, April 18th. Yes, 18th. And I am fresh out of the shower. So my hair is um, semi-dry, but it's a little frizzy at this point. I have no makeup on, um, but I'm clean. <laughs> and I really needed to be clean. I just, um, I've been wanting to get the video recorded all day, um, but I desperately need a shower and I did not want to do it with, with the whirlwind weekend that we kind of had. So, um, so I'm fresh to you no makeup, no nothing. I probably look horrendous. Um, and the lighting's bad, so it should be an interesting video, but here we go. So a Friday, I told you I was going to, um, Green Bay with a group of friends and we were going to go thrift shopping and bargain shopping and, and that sort of thing. And we did, um, we left about eight o'clock in the morning. We didn't get home until almost seven o'clock last night. I think it was like 645 when I pulled in the driveway last night. And, um, we had a blast. We hit the Goodwills, the St. Vincent de Paul, the consignment shops. We hit TJ Maxx and Skechers Outlet. And then we had a good lunch and a wonderful day. And we then we saved Hobby Lobby for last. And um, we all came out with treasures. <clears throat> treasures. Um, I drive a small, like, Toyota car. And it has a big trunk. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the trunk space on it. And it was packed. It it was packed tight. Um, and there was stuff in the back seat with the girls who were riding in the back. But we had so much fun. So I'm going to show you all my treasures today because I um, made a total haul on um, a cross stitch at one thrift store. And it's very exciting. I am very happy and impressed. First thing I'm going to show you, though, is I'm going to um, show you where I'm at with my stitching. Now, Friday in the afternoon, I solely worked on, um, I had two t-shirt quilt tops I had to get pieced for a customer so that I can get those um, quilted on the long arm and get those out. So Friday, I solely worked on customer quilts in the afternoon and I did a little bit of stitching in the evening while watching TV, but um, I did not do anything yesterday at all. So um, on my Santa, I was hoping to have him done. But he's almost there. Um, I'll be able to finish him today. I, it's maybe a half hour's worth of work on it. Um, I only have like this little tree section to do right here. And there's like two little sides that come down uh, along the stem. That is all I have left on my Santa. And then he will be done. Um, oh, and I have like little red berries I have to put in the corners. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so my Santa will be done as of today, which I'm good with. And then I did, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry, tickle. On my hometown, I told you I was going to be concentrating on this grass and river area um, because I want, to, I want to do that in sections. I don't because it is boring. It is really, really boring. Um, so here I am. I got the grass done and I'm going to fill in the river. And that's just kind of mindless stitching. I taken it out of my big, like, 12-inch desk or my tabletop hoop to put it um, just in my portable hoop so I could sit on the couch and just kind of stitch away and it's just fill in. I don't have to look at the chart. It's just all kind of there. Um, so I, I'm pretty good with what I've got accomplished with as much as I was gone this weekend. So we hit a few thrift stores and I love thrifting and I love everybody's comments who, um, who commented on what they love to thrift for. And I think we're all about the same. Who <laughs> We're all just searching for that. Craft items and things to decorate our home. And, you know, a few people really like to um, do the vintage clothes and fun jeans and, you know, look for bargains. And um, and that's good. I'm not a clothes person. I'm not a clothes person. I order my clothes online and I am jeans and a t-shirt, leggings and a long shirt. I am just not, I dread clothes shopping. And I hate shoe shopping. I hate shoes. Um, I, so 
So to go and search through racks of, of clothes in a thrift store is just not my idea of fun, but I love looking for craft items and frames and books and um, fun glassware and things I can finish, finish cross stitch items with. <clears throat> so I found lots of that stuff this weekend too, but we went to a St. Vincent de Paul and I don't know if those are like countrywide or if it's just a regional thing, but basically what it is, is um, it's like a goodwill where people of the area <clears throat> donate their items, they resell them, and then the money goes to help people in that community. So, you know, they help with housing and food. There's food banks and clothing and rent assistance and emergency funds and stuff like that. So I really like to support those kind of stores. And we have a few of them here in our area. So I do shop with them quite often. <clears throat> but, you know, you see the same things over and over again. But we went into this one particular um, St. Vincent de Paul down there. And I, the first thing I go for is like the, their craft area. See if there's anything good. And I'm kind of moving this stuff around because... I'm flipping through. I'm kind of like sliding this stuff over and it was like all macrame patterns and knit patterns and I'm just not into that. And then ding, ding, ding. This pops up. Hopefully you can see that. This is called The Stitcher by Home uh, Homespun Elegance. And it's an older pattern. And I was like, jackpot. So this, and then I'm flipping through and I find this. Look at how cute that is. Holly House Designs, God Bless America. I was like, ooh, I could do that. And then there was a whole stack of dogs and cats and ducks and geese and very 1980s and precious moments. And, and there's nothing wrong with those things. They're just not my style, just not my style. So I'm flipping through it. There was a huge stack of patterns. Um, and I found a few that interested me and a few that didn't. And then I found this one. Yeah. This is Joy Noel. Sweet nothings, Joy Noel. This is a JBW design. And I love these little, these little projects like this because they're quick and easy. And then, you, you know, it's a self-gratification thing. And, um... So I love JBW. I do a lot of those for the holidays. So I found that. And then I found <clears throat> this one. More Hawaiian quilt cross-stitch patterns. And I think glare. I'm sorry about the glare of that ring light. But um, look how cute that is. And I thought those are a neat little patterns. So I picked up that. And they were all like 40 cents. All the patterns were like 40 cents. Next to nothing. So... I grabbed them. So I'm going along and then you know how they always have bins of stuff, bins of stuff. And I'm flipping through the bins of stuff and I'm looking at packages and I find project cards, new in package. So there's what, there's like three, three project cards in these. And it was like 93 cents, but there was one, two, three, uh, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine of them. Project cards. I was like, I grabbed them all. Every last one of them. I was like, ooh. Okay. So I was pretty excited about that. And then I'm going along. And these were kind of scattered. There was like a couple of little hoops. Which these are the hoops that I've been really promoting um, in my link down below. The little rubber styled ones. But these are nice because then I could do like little ornaments and stuff. And I can tuck them in into my project bag and on the go. So those, I grabbed those. Those were like 50 cents each. Um, and then I'm flipping through stuff and it's kind of all over the place. And I found some little self um, stick board, tacky board. It's like, all right. And then I found some more. So there's like, what, five packages of the small stuff. And then I find the eight by 10 size. So I find one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the eight by 10 size tacky boards. A nine by 12 tacky board. 
and then find 11 by 14 tacky board. I was like, oh my God, I, I took it all. Because <laughs> my plan was to go to Hobby Lobby and buy them out of their tacky board because they don't, they don't keep enough in stock to keep up with me. And I don't get to Hobby Lobby very often and we, I can't get it here. So I ended up with all this tacky board and they were like a buck a piece, less than a buck a piece. Um, so I am set for tacky board for a while, but that is not even the best part. And then I'm going through like all these little bags of, you know how they, they separate things into like little baggies of fabric and stuff like that. And there's always like satin and ribbons and stuff that nobody ever really uses. I don't buy any of that stuff. Um, then I start flipping through and there is baggies of cross stitch fabric. So there was, there's Ada. I got Ada. I got some, it, it's all random sizes and colors. A little piece of like a stiffer, like plasticky stuff, some beige. Then there was some like tweed in there. I thought that was cute. And then some dark. And I thought this was kind of cool. I could do like get maybe an alphabet or something on that. And then there was some linen. Look at that. Nice linen. And these are not small pieces. I mean, these are all, look at, big pieces of linen and cross-stitch fabrics. Some 18 count. Look at how big this piece is. I mean, these are all like huge huge pieces and they had them stuffed into four bags and each bag was two dollars and fifty cents so there's red then there's some small pieces in there nothing wrong with small pieces some more some more linen look at this nice big piece of linen definitely do something with that um this really cute like bell pull and it had, it's a stitchable fabric and some white and some of them have stains and it's a little musty smelling. So my plan this afternoon is to put them in a, um, kind of a soapy bath and let them soak, let them soak and get clean. And then, um, I'll let them air dry and clean them up. I'll press them. So no, that's a nice, there's some nice linen, a nice big piece. I mean, these are huge pieces. These are all folded big big pieces and then there was some blue and some you know plain and then there was one in a package so this is the amount of fabric look at all this for ten dollars it was all folded tight and shoved into little plastic bags maybe like sandwich size bags so i'm thinking all right you know whatever and i unbagged it ten dollars so I bought all that but the coolest thing that was in and then when I started pulling out all that fabric um there were some finished project projects in there so let me see where's the front this this was one that was finished in there how adorable is that so somebody must have passed away or given up cross stitching because this stuff is a little bit older I can tell it's older but it's still very usable. Um, and these are the fabrics. When I say I dye my own fabrics, these are the ones I practice on because I paid pennies for them. So I'll, I'll dye them. And if I don't like them, I mean, I'll eventually use them on something, but it's a good way of practice with your practicing dyeing. So I'm going to finish this into something cute because how adorable is that? And obviously their kids didn't want it or something. And, um, I'll grab it. And then look at this. This little finished piece. How cute is that? And then look at how cute, how adorable. And then this one, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with. It's very pretty, but it looks like it had some beading started on it. So I might pull those beads out and do something do something in this I don't know if it's supposed to like these little things here I may put little names or something something in I'm not sure there was no pattern that went with this but um 
I'm going to figure something out with this so that I can, I can display that. So I thought it was pretty cool. So that was my, my stash find at one of the same, at one of the thrift stores. The other one, I found some good stuff. I found this cute little box and I know it's a Christmas box, but look at how cute it is. It's already green. I love green. So I can easily just make something and mount it to the top and cover that up. So that will be a nice little ort basket or a gift basket. I could put a little an, uh, monogram on it and give it to somebody as a Christmas gift. But how sweet is that little basket? So that is something I can finish with. And then I found like two of these style, like little wooden boards. And this one I will... Um, I'm going to sand it down, sand it down, and I'm going to paint it. Chalk paint, chalk paint does wonders. And then I will mount something on this so that even if the texture kind of shows through the paint, it'll be covered up by something. But, um, and then another little plain wood one. So I was pretty impressed with that. And then I found some greeting cards. And I have some plans, some fun plans for maybe a Christmas in July, something for us to do. So that was a, a steal. And let's see. Then we went to Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby, I, the first place I beeline to is back in the clearance. I don't know if everybody knows about this. Um, back in the very deepest corner of Hobby Lobby, they have a section where they put all their frames on clearance. And they're like 90% off. And these are frames that were possibly custom built for customers. And for whatever reason, they didn't pick them up or they didn't like them or they didn't work or they were practice frames um, or frames, retail frames, standard sizes that um, are no longer popular or have nicks or damage to them or something like that. So you get frames like super cheap. So I found these, these frames here. Look how cute that is found these two frames here and I think they're an eight by 10. I, uh, so and I was pretty excited about that because these were like five bucks a piece. So I was like, Hoo -hoo, I'm grabbing them. So the, the more I dig and then if you have a big project, like a huge project that you want to frame, um, head back there because they have all these gigantic frames and I really didn't have anything big to frame in it, but I know I have some big projects coming up. Um, and the one big project I did, I do have to frame is a Christmas project and I did not measure it. So I was kind of winging it on this, but for the price, I couldn't go wrong. So this matches the other two frames and it is, oh, I don't even, a 16 by 20. So that is, I can't even get in the camera. It's a big frame, 16 by 20. And look at how nice and rustic that is and how pretty that's going to be. And that was, um, ten dollars so cannot go wrong cannot go wrong um so i was pretty excited about that and then i picked up some sticker books because it, who doesn't love stickers and my little granddaughter every time she comes over she gets a, a sheet of stickers to take home with her so about stickers and then they had some rick rack on clarence so beige rick rack some black pom-poms all their um Ribbons were 50% off, black pom-poms, and sorry about the glare, and cream color pom-poms for finishing, black and white check ribbon, and then look at these. Hopefully, they're the, maybe I can do it this way. This is like a red and white stripe, like a ticking stripe, and I bought the blue and white. How pretty is that? So I got those and then I got these cute little pins. Sorry about the glare on the package. Like counting pins. How cute are those? Those were on clearance. I am such a clearance shopper. Buttons were on sale. And look at these cute little buttons. They're like little flowers. And then little gingham buttons. And then the one last thing I got um, was at TJ Maxx. And it doesn't look like much, but it will when I'm all finished. But 
it's one of these like box style frames and I don't get me wrong I love the this in here but it's not what I'm gonna use it for I will probably mount a cross stitch inside of there because um, it's a shadow box style and that was um, that was on clearance at TJ Maxx so I just I got some incredible bargains yesterday um I came home with quite a bit of haul it took me two trips to get it in from the car <laughs> so um needless to say when we ran to Escanaba today we had to go to like Menards and Harbor Freight and stuff I was just too pooped to shop there I was like all right let's just get our stuff and go home because I want to go home I want to play with my new haul I want to clean my house I want to take a shower and do all those things so Unfortunately, I forgot to pick um, a Happy Mail winner from my Friday video. So I will do that in my next video and we will get those names out. I have not heard from Jacqueline Knox yet. Jacqueline, you um, I know you commented, but I have not received your snail mail address so I can get your Happy Mail out to you. So if you could uh, message me down below, that would be great. And I'm going to continue to do the Happy Mail through April. So for every hundred comments that we have, I draw a name and send out some fun happy mail. And I've had a huge response to it. Lots of people emailing me and um, I'm gaining a new pen pal and I'm very excited about that because I love just writing little notes and cards and, and stuff like that. And this has prompted me to think ahead, like I said, to July, maybe a Christmas in July something fun. Um, so that's where the, the Christmas greeting cards came in, but I am very excited about everything, um, that I shopped for yesterday and it was good time with good friends and it was a long time coming and hopefully everybody else in the country and in the world will hopefully be able to be doing those things soon. So, um, the safer we stay now, the, the better it's going to be in the future. Um, and as long as we take it, take it slow and slow and steady wins the race, right? So, <laughs> all right, we are, this is a kind of an extra long video. Sorry for all that. If I forgot anything, I'm going to catch you tomorrow or Tuesday morning with the next video. In the meantime, be kind, spread love and find peace.